Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a bit of this and a bit of that. It's going to be a haul. It's going to be sharing with you things that I do to get ready for Christmas. Uh, to put me in the mood for Christmas and to be prepared for Christmas. We're going to start with some of the things that I do. Okay. Uh, perhaps items I use. Now, at this time of year, it's time to bring out everything that you treasure. Things that perhaps were given to you by relatives, things that are sentimental, and that is what I do, okay? I'm going to start with some stemware, if you can call it that. Anyway, we're going to start with this. This is a little glass, sherry glass, liqueur, etc., that my grandmother gave to my mother. It was originally a set of four. One must have broken. And after my mother passed away, a sister and I split up the remaining three. So I actually have two and she has one. It says souvenir of Scotland. Okay. Uh, my father was from Scotland. And uh, so this is very special. I think of my grandmother. I think of my mother my father when I use this. Now, using things that have Christmas colors. This wine glass, whether I use it for red wine or white wine, that is not important to me. I don't stand on formality. But of course, the green color is uh, why I would use this at this time of year. It may be a Denby glass. It might not be. It was thrifted, so I'll never know. And there's, you know, nothing on it that would indicate a Luminarch water glass. <laughs> I will use this. I have four of them. Now, I had thrifted many, but I've donated some. I have only kept what I will use. I am no longer collecting stemware. Okay. It, it, I just have what I need. And here's another glass that is thrifted using, you know, the red and the greens. Beautiful colors. Uh, this, I have a set of five. Again, thrifted. Now, this Avon goblet. I love this. I will use this for wine, or what I use it mostly for is kombucha and a mixture of kombucha and sparkling water. Very nice. And, you know, kombucha is good for you. So, there you go. Another thing I do to get ready for the Christmas season is listen to audiobooks. I do this on the Libby app, which is free. The Libby app is associated with my local library. I have three audiobooks in my library currently, which I'm going to start listening to in December to get me in the Christmas mood. The first of which is A Christmas Carol. And of course, it's a classic, so you can't go wrong with that. The next audiobook in my library is Agatha Christie's The Adventure of the Christmas Pudding. Now, I listened to this last year and I loved it, so I will be listening to this again. The third and last Christmas-related book in my library is Mistletoe Malice by Kathleen Farrell. I have never listened to this before, and I really look forward to listening to it. So this is the haul portion of the video, but the first items are not Christmas related. I wanted to share these in last week's video, but I couldn't work it in. I recently ordered some replacement items for my everyday dishes, and I'll show you those. Um, two Denby Imperial Blue Bowls, okay, and one Imperial Blue Plate. Okay, these are my everyday dishes. I have been using the Imperial Blue, I think they used to call it Kitchen Collection. I don't think it's called Kitchen Collection anymore, uh, but I've been using these for a very long time. I had to order it off the Denby website this time, unfortunately, because I usually purchase these at HomeSense. HomeSense has them for so cheap. 
when they carry them. The plates I purchased for $14.99 at HomeSense and the bowls I believe were $12.99, but I checked more than one HomeSense and they didn't have them. They did have Denby dishes, but some newer collections, okay? So I did go on to the Denby website and they are having a Black Friday sale. So although I paid more than I wanted to, it was 50% off. So the bowls were $22 Canadian each and the plate was $23.50, okay? Now, considering the whole set was purchased at the cheaper rate, okay, I will spend the extra money to top up my collection. Another thing I do for this is check on Facebook Marketplace regularly. And uh, I think I'm just gonna continue to do that and pick up some dishes when I see them. I'm now gonna do an unboxing. And this is a box of tree decorations. I had looked on Facebook Marketplace. I had looked on thrift stores and I just couldn't find what I want. So I decided to order it off of Amazon. So let's open up this box. I ordered some blue and white ginger jar Christmas tree decorations. Okay, and I think they were around $34. I couldn't find anything cheaper. And what I did find cheaper, you know, was sets with too many in them. I just wanted four. It's a set of four. And uh, as you see, this is something I would like. There we go. I think of all of the little ginger jars in this set. I like this one the best. <laughs> But yeah, I don't need to fill my tree with blue and white or be excessive about what I'm putting up. I just thought this would add a bit of color, color that I like. Okay, so I'm gonna go hang those on my Christmas tree right now. Now for the food portion of this video, uh, the things I purchase in advance to have on Christmas day or get us in the Christmas mood, okay? But first, I'm gonna have a sip of my kombucha. That is mixed with sparkling water. It's the Rise brand, which is not my favorite brand, okay? My favorite brand is GT's but it's not always available, so I have to take what I can get. So we're gonna start with the Walker's shortbread. This package was $5.45. Yes, I should be making it, but I'm not. I'm buying it. There. Two packages of the M&M's red and green peanuts, okay? Of course, you can only buy these at this time of year. These will go into candy dishes. I don't want to have Christmas without these. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, so I bought a Christmas pudding. I can't remember how much this was. Okay. Um, it is McFadden's, uh, McFadgen's, McFadgen's plum pudding with sauce. I purchased this last year and we really, really enjoyed it. My late mother would make Christmas pudding every year and Christmas cake. Uh, I miss her very much and I miss her goodies at Christmas time. 
So I am not gonna make my own Christmas pudding. It's not something I care to do, but I will purchase it. You can actually find on Facebook Marketplace people that you can order such things from. I might do that one year, you know, support somebody locally who earns a bit of extra cash at Christmas. But for now, this is good. Now, what will help get us in the mood for Christmas is some eggnog. I usually drink eggnog non-alcoholically. Like I don't add anything to it. I just drink it like this. And I will use, you know, my grandmother's glass or one of the other pretty glasses that I thrifted. Okay, one more thing. After eights. <laughs> Okay, the after eight sticks. I don't remember how much I paid for this. It was it was cheap. I mean, as you see, it's a really small container. It's uh, 90 grams, okay. I used to purchase these in the little sachets, but uh, this is all I could find this year. Please let me know in the comments below how you prepare for the upcoming Christmas season. Thank you for watching and bottoms up.